Hi, my name is Eric. I'm KC8VWL, and I'm with Universal Radio. This is Kenwood's just two meter only handheld THK20A. Transmits on 144 through 148 and has an extended receive, covers from 136 to 174. This radio puts out five and a half watts. It comes from the factory with a lithium ion battery, belt clip, and the antenna that you see on it. It uses an SMA style antenna, uh, which will leave you open with a lot of different options for uh, using some smaller mag mounts and some other accessories if you're using it in a car. A couple things we like about this radio, it has a very large speaker in it and it puts out some pretty loud audio, so it's going to be really easy to hear in a lot of environments. Uh, this radio is very durably built. It's going to last a long time. It's got a, a backlit display and a backlit keypad, which is going to let you use it very easy in, in low light conditions. It's got 200 memories, all of which can be set up with an alphanumeric tag with six characters, so you can label all your memories. We do recommend the programming software that's available for this with RT Systems. It's going to make uh, setting up the radio and programming all that information in a whole lot easier. There's a high capacity lithium ion battery available for this model. Also, there's a, a variety of speaker mics, cigarette lighter adapters, and other headsets and lapel mics that let you use it in a lot of different situations. Uh, this model's been uh, around for, for quite a while and it's, it's going to be a good durable radio and it's going to be easy to use for, for somebody who's just getting into ham radio. Another accessory we wanted to mention was um, this ARRL repeater directory. It's going to be a good resource to have. It's going to show you all of the repeaters that are listed in the United States, and it's going to give you the frequencies and, and any of the tones that are required to get in access to the repeater. With all the different accessories and everything else that's available for this, it's a very versatile handheld, so it's going to be easy for a new ham or just anybody looking for an affordable, durable handheld, it's going to work really well for them.